See the officiator. Today you are surrounded by your friends and your family, all of whom are gathered to witness your marriage share in this joy. This is an occasion that should be one of the most memorable of your life, but not the only memorable one. Your life will be made up of many memories, and this will be just the start. As you know, no wedding officiant, no judge, no pastor, no priest could marry you. Only you can marry each other, and you do so with your love and commitment to each other. On this day, the day of your marriage, you stand somewhat apart from the rest of the world. You are two human beings in a charmed circle of love, of family, and friends. This is a day you will find a common source of energy, and your love will make your marriage not perfect, but perfect for you. The surest basis of marriage is friendship. The sharing of real interests, the ability to discuss ideas, discuss ideas together and understand each other's thoughts and feelings, and most importantly, each other's dreams. Today, as you join yourself in marriage, there is a vast and unknown future. It is stretching out before you. The possibilities and potential are endless. That is why this day is so exciting. Dawson and JC, we hope we remember the love and loyalty which alone cannot avail itself. You must join in with all of your family and friends. Family and friends, we ask you to share in the common love and joy with them, to support them when they need it, but also to give them the space and the strength to find their own way, knowing that you will be there for them always as family and friends. All of this we wish you a home, not of wood and snow, but a place of comfort and joy and love, and most importantly, safety. Safety to be yourselves with each other. Finally, we wish that at the end of your lives, you will be able to say these things to each other. Because you have loved me, you have given me faith in myself. And because I have seen the good in you, I have received from you faith. The hopes and dreams of marriage are often shared with vows or a contract. Dawson and JC chose to do so in forms of love letters to each other. Dawson, I'm going to ask you to please read your letter. <coughs> Thanks for the same hundred. 
I understand you. I understand your background. I understand your rationale, your quirks, your pet peeves, and your struggles. I try to understand every part of you. <laughs> Are you thinking of hazard? You've helped me. You've helped me to become a better person. You've helped me to model my quirks. You've helped chip away at my senses. You've helped me deal with my success. Are you still listening, Hazard? I want to be with you. I want to be with you during the brightest times of our lives. I want to be with you when we're struggling to get by. I want to be with you for you when you need it. And I want to be with you to see what incredible things you'll do. Say something, lean the jokes. I want to love you always. I will always love your hair and your eyes and your smile. And I will always love you for being you. Because you make me want to be the best man in the world. But I'll only ever be the best man in the world not you. Oh. I love you. Knowing that I get to talk to you at the end of the day keeps me going no matter what. You once told me that you didn't keep a commitment to a long distance relationship with anybody but you. I feel the exact same <laughs> That anyone could do with their struggles and go stay at work with other people. I'm scared of being seen as weak and that by expressing your feelings and ways that I turn our afraid to, you'll be seen as less than. But embracing your emotions is part of who you are. And I believe it makes you a better man. It drives you to show compassion for others when most others won't. And it's one of the things I love most about you. Being with you has made me grow in many ways. You inspired me to treat myself better and to love me for who I am. You've taught me to be kinder and more generous to those around me. And I will never forget. I will never forget, let you forget how proud I am to call you my husband. You have changed me. <coughs> Our hoops. You represent the never ending love for each other. The <laughs> <laughs> rings are hoops representing the never ending love you have for each other. As you do remember from this day forward, you are married. The love is a whole, the better for worse, the richer for poor, sickness and health, the love and cherish for all time. Austin and JC have joined in true wedlock. Witnessing before this company of friends and family, giving their love to each other, and declare this love of giving and receiving of the ring. By the power vested in me by the state of Minnesota, more importantly, the power vested in me by the love they have for each other, I now pronounce you husband and wife from this day forward for all time. You may be now sealed. This foul. Yeah, we're going to save the rest of the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
pretty sure the pastor didn't tell you the same thing. <laughs> Well, I figure I'll scan around, get everyone's crying, everyone's tears <laughs> of joy, hopefully. <laughs> tears? Anybody? Anybody? Tears. <laughs> Randy. <laughs> ah, that's good. Nobody's crying? Nobody? Okay.